January 15, 2023, second Sunday in Ordinary Time, Saint of the Day, Saint Paul the Hermit. Today's readings. First reading, a reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord said to me, You are my servant, Israel, through whom I show my glory. Now the Lord has spoken, who formed me as his servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, the Lord says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. I have waited, waited for the Lord, and he stooped toward me and heard my cry. And he put a new song into my mouth, a hymn to our God. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or offering you wish not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Holocausts or sin offerings you sought not. Then said I, Behold, I come. Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. In the written scroll it is prescribed for me to do your will, O oh my God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips, as you, O oh Lord, know. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Second reading, a reading for the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Paul called to be an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God and Sosthenes, our brother, to the church of God that is in Corinth, to you who have been sacrificed in Christ Jesus, called to be holy with all those everywhere who call upon the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, their Lord and ours. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, the word of God became flesh and dwelt among us. To those who accepted him, he gave power to become children of God. Alleluia, alleluia. The Holy Gospel, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. John the Baptist saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. He is the one of whom I said, A man is coming after me who ranks ahead of me because he existed before me. I did not know him, but the reason why I came baptizing with water was that he might be made known to Israel. John testified further, saying, I saw the Spirit come down like a dove from heaven and remain upon him. I did not know him, but the one who sent me to baptize with water told me, On whomever you see the Spirit come down and remain, he is the one who will baptize with the Holy Spirit. Now I have seen and testified that he is the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Reflection. This Sunday's Gospel is the encounter between John the Baptist and Jesus. When John sees Jesus, he exclaims, Look, 
There is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. It is he of whom I said, After me will come a man who ranks ahead of me, because he was before me. John then confesses that he had not recognized Jesus as the Lamb of God. Jesus and John had known one another from birth. They were cousins. Yet until this moment, John had not realized that Jesus was the Christ. John then gave this testimony, I saw the Spirit descend and rest on someone. It is He who will baptize with the Holy Spirit. I have seen for myself, and I have testified, this is God's chosen one. Ask yourself, do you truly believe that Jesus is the Lamb of God? I suspect that many of us grew up with the Gospel and we were taught about Jesus and His life from our childhood. Yet today ask yourself, do I truly believe and confess that Jesus is the Lamb of God? Many of us know about Jesus, however, do we listen daily for His word in our life? Are Jesus and His teachings integral in your life? Or do you simply give lip service to your faith? Today I invite you to take time to search your heart and mind. You may be surprised at what you will find there. I pray that you will find faith and peace within you.